Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on another YouTube video. Today is dedicated to evening wear. How to do it, how to create it, how to build your evening wardrobe. And I'm gonna show you five simple steps on how you can build your own evening essential capsule wardrobe. So my first tip and step is probably what I would class as the most important thing when it comes to evening dressing and also dressing up your maybe daytime pieces into the evening and that is jewellery. So I'm partnering with Carrot London to show you some beautiful jewellery and pieces that I've selected that I think would be great to tie into your evening wardrobe to really, really elevate it. But not only that, these pieces that I'm going to show you are really, really timeless. You can wear them again and again in so many different ways. These are pieces that you could be wearing 10, 15, 20 years from now and also pieces that you can wear throughout the seasons as well and mix them up and down if you want to dress them up in the evening, you can but if you want to pair them back in the day, I think you could do that with some of these pieces as well. So they create the finest alternatives to mined gemstones and their mission is to kind of fuse together fashion and fine jewellery. So Carrot London principally uses high quality hand and machine cut cubic zircona crystals. So they actually use several alternatives to mined gemstones which they believe represents the future and a more sustainable way to incorporate gemstones into your wardrobe. So let's talk about the first earrings and why I've chosen them and what I think they pair really well with. These are the Kira stud earrings in gold vermeil, but they also come in silver sterling as well. So these are a pair of Marquise cluster stone together and I just think they're so pretty and wearable but they kind of fit the bill in that they stand out but also you can wear them with a lot of different pieces and they can kind of blend into your outfit at the same time and not be too in your face and take away from the outfit. So they really kind of cover all bases in terms of evening wear. And I also think they'd look so nice in the day paired with a really chunky knit to elevate your casual pieces. Um, if you were kind of going out in the daytime, I think these would just look so beautiful. Also for workwear as well. Um, they're just so pretty and so wearable. But in this case, I've gone for a high ruffled neck. So I really think they complement this ruffled neckline really, really well. I think with a ruffled neck or a high neck, something like that, you don't want anything too competitive in your ear. So this makes a statement as I say, um, but also doesn't take away from the ruffled neckline. So they're a really versatile piece for all pieces, but particularly things like this, where you want your top to stand out, but you also want something dressy in your ear that doesn't take away from that or compete with that. And I think this just fits perfectly. Just to mention as well that I've got a discount code. You can get 10% off Carrot London using the code, all capitals, Lydia Tomlinson 10, and that'll get you 10% off everything, excluding sale items. So the next pieces, I'm going to show you two in one, are these stunning bracelets, which I'm just absolutely obsessed with. I think these are the perfect bracelets. Again, really great pieces to layer up in the daytime. I could see this with a stack, really chunky, thick stack of lots of different bracelets, but also you could wear them in the evening, very simple on their own. You can wear them just two together like this. Um, so pretty for kind of all times of year as well. I think they'd look really nice layered up with some gold jewelry in the summer, but then again, like I say, for winter in the evenings, worn with your evening wear, so, so chic. So let's talk about them in a little bit more detail. So the first is this slimmer bracelet, and this is called the Vian. It's a round prong tennis bracelet in gold for May. And I think if you are somebody who prefers delicate, more dainty jewelry, then this is the piece for you. So it also has a really secure clasp. That's something I often worry about with bracelets, but this has a really, really great clasp on it. So there's no way this is coming off unless you want to take it off. Um, which is always good to know. And I just think it's so timeless. Like I said, these are pieces that you can have in your wardrobe forever. This is something I could see my grandma wearing or somebody who's 20 wearing. I really think if you invest in timeless, you'll never ever go wrong and you'll be able to wear it on repeat and never get bored of it either. And then the same goes for the slightly chunkier bracelet and I personally love them paired together. So this is the Haley again, a round prong tennis bracelet in the gold vermeil. And it's just, again, so beautiful, a little bit chunkier than the other, but 
as I say, you can pair them together, pair separately, and also a really stunning, timeless piece. It's not too over the top chunky that it's not wearable. It's just such a nice size um, and it will stand out, but also not feel too over the top. So really interestingly, these are cut and polished in the same technique as fine jewelry. So it really gets that sparkle that you'll be able to see in the close-up cutaways. So if you wanted to mix things up a bit, you could switch out one of your earrings for this front row ear jacket. I think this is so cute, but again, really wearable as everything is from Carrot London. Very timeless, very wearable, and it's just so pretty. It provides a little bit of something different. If you're looking for an edge to add, then I think this kind of ear jacket, like the one off um, asymmetrical look as a way to do that without feeling like you have to go out and buy loads of new clothes to create different looks you can do that by changing up your jewelry and if you wanted to you could purchase two so you could balance them out but I just think they're such a pretty shape again very very wearable but just make that subtle impact that's so chic and classic and finally, the earrings I'm wearing now are the Nova earrings in silver. These are just so pretty. Again, so wearable, just such a good piece to elevate all your basics for evening. You could pop these on with a white t-shirt and blazer and they would just instantly transform your outfit. So that is the power of jewelry. And really why I wanted to include this as my first tip, because I think jewelry is something so transformative in your outfit. Like I say, you can take your basic piece is add some really interesting unusual jewelry like these earrings and it just takes your outfit to a completely different place and a whole new level and it really gets more cost per wear out of your clothes and your wardrobe as well so these are the silver ones but they also come in gold vermeil and what I've done for these earrings and how I would wear more of a kind of dangly style like this is with something a little bit more subtle around the top so as we had the Kira earrings are with the ruffled neck I thought that would feel a bit too competitive with this longer earring. So what I wanted to do is go for something a little more simple around the top, um, like this cardigan, or again, a t-shirt, a blazer like this would work. Just, I think, something that's not too ruffly and high neck, so you're not kind of having that clash of the earrings and the neck works really well. So here I've got this cardigan on, some simple wide leg trousers, and you can see in this outfit that it's pretty simple outfit, some black trousers and a kind of jazzy cardigan, and the earrings just really make it and transform it and just take it to that next level so that's why I think jewelry is so important when creating your evening outfits if you have some good evening jewelry I think you don't need to purchase any evening clothes because they just instantly dress up your outfits and I think you'll be able to see that through the rest of the video because I'm gonna be styling these with other outfits too so don't forget my code if you do want to shop Carrot London it's Lydia Tomlinson 10 they also have loads of beautiful pieces on there um, but I just I particularly particularly love these and I just love the way these tennis bracelets are layered together. So following quite seamlessly on from jewellery is accessories and the importance of those extra accessories. I think jewellery and accessories are two slightly different categories and what I would include in accessories are things like your bags, shoes, belts, hair accessories, things like that. Um, and again, like the jewellery, just totally transformative of your outfit. So I want to show you how you can take this basic outfit that is perfectly good for daytime and transform it to evening. So here I'm wearing this classic white shirt. It's just a cl classic cotton shirt. I wouldn't say it's an evening shirt. My leather trousers, which I wear all the time and you know, day or night and I've just popped a coat and some loafers with it. So this is a perfectly fine daytime outfit, but I just want to show the power of accessories and jewelry um, and how you can transform those basic pieces like the ones I'm wearing. So some of my favorite heels on my wardrobe are these amazing leopard print ones from Zara that I got last year, unfortunately. I think Zara do such a good selection of statement heels. And they're actually quite comfortable as well, I find, um, and true to size too. So I've got these leopard ones on here, just to add a little bit of jazz to it. I put my Carrot London earrings on. Again, talking about jewelry, accessories, adding them all together instantly elevates the look. This bag is from YSL. It doesn't have to be a YSL bag, but I think something that's maybe slightly more evening led, a bit more of a clutch or something you can use as a clutch. Just again, takes it into evening. Add a red lip. I'm including a red lip in my accessories collection. I think adding a red lip instantly um, 
zhuzhes your outfit up and adds that extra wow factor. And I do think there's a red for everybody. Um, so if you've not found one for you yet, I really suggest going and trying a few different colors because I think you could either be a pinky red or a bright fiery orange red, or you could be more of a darker red or bluey red. Um, it's a really wide spectrum, but I do think they work for every skin tone if you find the right one. But it really does instantly update your outfit. And I just wanted to show another way you could do this um, to really maximize your wardrobe. So here I'm wearing this black knit dress. This one is from Marsala London. I would say this is a slightly more dressy style of knit dress, but I think this could work for most styles of knitted dresses or plain dresses. Um, so you could wear it in the day with a pair of chunky boots. You could put a coat over the top, a cropped coat, a long coat, um, lots of different ways you could wear this knitted dress in the daytime. You could wear it with some trainers if you wanted to, but I just want to show how you can elevate it for evening. And you could also do this with a heel boot, depending on um, what occasion you are going for and are dressing up for. But here, for example, I've got these Russell and Bromley heels on again from last year, but hopefully they'll still be in stock. As usual, I'll link everything below where possible. If not, it will be something alternative. Um, but I've just popped these heels with it. Any kind of heel I think would look great with this dress. And then what you could do is add a belt over the top. So I've got this Pull M Paris belt here um, and I've just wrapped this round. This is like a thin double belt. But I think most styles, again, most styles of belt, unless it's maybe a woven leather belt that feels a bit more daytimey, would work for this. So this is a croc one with a gold buckle. I think that does lend itself to evening quite well. So you can add that and then a smaller, more evening appropriate bag. Again, this bag isn't necessarily an evening bag, but when you um, take the crossbody chain away from it and use it as a little clutch, it instantly turns it into more of an evening bag. So I think that's something key to look for as well when you're shopping for accessories. Look for some versatility in those pieces. And you can see how we've transformed this daytime dress into something a lot more elevated and evening appropriate. And you could wear this, I think, anywhere um, and it feels glam, but cool and relaxed. So my third tip is thinking about textures and how you can pair different textures together to create different looks and again, different levels of evening wear. So I've got this outfit on. My trousers are from Cara Millen. These are amazing. I just, I'm obsessed with these trousers, but I also think these would look so good, maybe more of a daytime occasion with a pair of trainers and a blazer. That's as a side note, but anyway, these feather trousers, I just think are so, so chic. And so we've got a couple of textures going on already with the feathers, with the satin of the trousers. And then what I've done is added in a knit to contrast that a little bit and just to kind of play it down and tone it down a bit. So I think it's really nice to play around with those textures to create something a little bit more unexpected. And then I've done a little bit of color balancing and added these black shoes on the bottom to balance out the black top half. But for evening, I think really look for pieces like satin and leather, the feather trim, maybe some sequins, those kind of textures really transform your evening looks. And then you can add them with your basics, with things like knitwear, with things like a t-shirt to just kind of add in some interest and in something a little bit different. So really think about how you can play around with textures in your wardrobe. For me, silk and satin, oh, velvet as well. Don't forget velvet um, are real great evening pieces. Um, again, that you can dress up according to your occasion um, and kind of level of dressiness that you want to go. So another rule I apply when evening dressing and kind of building that wardrobe together and building those outfits are proportions. Course, I couldn't not talk about proportions here. So what I like to do for the evening is not wear everything too tight equally, not wear everything too loose. So if I've got something like this top on from Suzanne, so this is like a knitted evening top in this lovely off-white shade. And I think if I paired this with really tight trousers, it just wouldn't look right um, because it's quite fitted in itself. The sleeves are fitted, the body's fitted, and it's low cut. So anything that you have that's quite tight, tight on the top 
I think look so much better, so much classier, so much more chic and effortless if you have something looser on the bottom. So by contrast, what I've done is pair them with these wide leg trousers from Philippa K. I've cinched it in at the waist and this belt adds a little bit more glam to the look, but really it's all about balancing and creating a look that's not too tight or too loose. And then by contrast, if you wanted to do it the other way around, for example, if you had a looser blazer or looser top, you could go for something a little bit more slimmer fitting at the bottom. It doesn't have to be so extreme that you're wearing skin tight at the bottom and I'm really oversized at the top. You could do something like this blazer, which is a little bit looser with some slimmer leg trousers so you don't feel like you're drowning in too much fabric and still creates that nice evening silhouette. Um, so I've got, again, some Philippa K trousers, but these are a straight leg just with my um, mules from Marquette to finish it off. And proportion balancing is definitely a rule where you don't even need to go and buy new things. You don't need to add pieces to your wardrobe. This is something you can apply now. You don't have to think about it too much. It's just all about thinking, how can I contrast my something tighter with something looser and vice versa? Um, a really easy step and I think one that's vital when evening dressing. So my final step in building that perfect evening wardrobe, a timeless evening wardrobe as well, I would say, I think all these pieces are timeless. Many of the outfits and items I've shown you also are much, much older. This Zara blazer, I think this could be at least four to five years old now. Obviously that's not old, old, but these are things that I bring out every single year and it's still not dated. It's a beautiful velvet blazer and it will never go out of style. So I do think um, you can really build a timeless capsule wardrobe for evening as well. So on that note, I think something to look for when you are purchasing or considering um, creating an evening outfit, I would look for those day to night pieces so those items you can wear in the daytime very comfortably, but they just really look great in the evening too. So my first example of this is this leather skirt. Um, this one's from Naked Fashion, again, a couple of years old now. Um, I've worn it so much, I've got so much wear out of it, but in the daytime, this will look great with a pair of trainers, with a pair of ankle boots, with a pair of high knee boots that are flat. Um, with some knitwear, you could wear it to work, you could wear it with a shirt. Um, so definitely in the daytime, this is an easy piece to work into your smart casual wardrobe, but then it just looks so good dressed up in the evening. I think the midi skirt particularly works well as a day to night piece because I think a mini skirt would feel automatically too eveningy, whereas the midi is a nice one to dress down and play down a little bit. And like I say, even for work wear, um, but then transformed in the evening, I've got this padded shoulder t-shirt shirt on from Wardrobe NYC. These mules again from Zara, so, so good, but just simple pieces that can elevate your looks, thinking about your shoes and accessories again, a red lip, and you can transform those pieces from day to night. Equally, leather trousers work really well with this. Also the Wardrobe NYC t-shirt with the black one, I think looks really great in the daytime, dress it down with a blazer and some wide leg denim jeans and trainers, and then in the evening with something like the leather skirt. So another example I have here is a black blazer. A great, great, all time of year, all seasonal, um, all occasion, day to night, a black blazer is a go-to for me. Um, something that's not too oversized, but maybe a little bit oversized, so you can create a lot of different looks with it. You could belt this then. Um, this one is from Marcella London. But again, black blazer, great in the daytime with a pair of jeans. You can wear it for work. Um, you can wear it you know, with a pair of trainers, dress it right down with a big scarf, knitwear. And then for evening with a pair of heels, you could really, really dress this up with a pair of like the feather trousers, or you could go for mini skirt with it, or just something like a simple pair of denim, again, depending on how dressy you want to go, but something like a black blazer is really, really versatile. It's also something a lot of us probably own already, so we don't need to go and buy a new piece, but just think about how you can translate those daytime pieces into your evening outfits as well. 
And a final piece that I'm going to talk about is this white shirt from Ceci. Um, so something that's maybe not cotton, because it does feel a little bit stiff, although I do wear cotton shirts in the evening, um, but something maybe a little bit softer, um, like a viscose or again, a silk satin fabric um, is really nice again in the daytime. You could layer this with a jumper or cardigan over the top. You could wear it with a blazer over the top. Um, and, you know, a white shirt, there's so many ways you can wear it. But then in the evening, it works so nicely with something like this blazer. You can wear it on its own. You could wear it with a skirt like I've done here with a mini skirt. Um, so again, just one of those staple pieces in your wardrobe um, that you can take from day to night really easily. And I think that is key when building your wardrobe as a whole, to be honest, but also building your evening capsule wardrobe. So just to recap, my five tips or steps to building that wardrobe are great jewelry, some good accessories, making sure your proportions are right, adding texture, and making sure you have those great day to night pieces that will work really hard in your wardrobe. So if this has been useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some more evening outfit ideas, um, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget your Carrot London discount code, um, which is Lydia Tomlinson 10. Thank you so much. Don't forget hit subscribe. We're almost on 600,000. We might even be almost there or there by now, um, but thank you so much. Um, if you've subscribed already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.